What's up, everyone? MCI EDP Studios. I'm here today with actually two very special guests. Um, I'm here sitting down with Zebo. Been wanting to get him on the podcast for a while, so thank you so much for coming through. Oh, yeah, for sure. What's up, gang? And a uh, couple came through. He's going to be co-host slash real host, whatever. Maybe he'll take it over. You don't know. I'm chilling today. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to get into this thing. Uh, well, I've been wanting to have you on the podcast for a while, man, because, you know, this podcast is all about people that inspire me, mm -hmm. people that I see out there actually doing the work. Oh, yeah, uh, I appreciate Plus, you cool-ass fucking dude, because, you know, we, we've hooked up before, and, yeah. you know, we, we got a mutual respect uh, among achievement with each other. So um, to start this thing off, you, you're always putting shit out, man, mm -hmm. always working. Got to. You know, and, and that's like, I think... You're underrated as far as uh, just your work ethic. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like you're underrated as far as like the quality of your songs, man. Because yeah. you got some good fucking songs, dude. Like, yeah. especially on the one that, uh, the one you just dropped in December, right? Three. Mm -hmm. Man, you got some great tracks on there, man. The yeah, fucking uh, Wait My Turn, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, you like that, that? I was that, just finna shoot that yesterday, bro. bro but I was like, man, I'll wait. Like, just the story you tell on there. Like, I, I, I've i lived a day in your life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or, like, a, a portion of your life. And I was like, that's the type of shit that I like. When you that's tell crazy. a story and you got a message. You know what I mean? Of course, the track with Fenton's dope because of the chorus, you know. Yeah. And then you got to give a shout out to Ko, too. Because that last track on there, it's a banger. Plus, you banger. know, Ko goes in and does his thing or whatever. I yes, mean, sir. not to take it nothing against, you know, what you're doing. But, uh, yeah, dude, that whole record is nice, man. And, and I that, appreciate that. Yeah. And what's crazy is... Everybody low key been saying, bro, you gotta shoot away my turn. But I was like, man, I I left the Detroit shit in like twenty twenty. You know mm, what I'm saying? I'm yeah. trying to go more industry. You know what I'm saying? So the the new shit I've been dropping lately, I ain't heard it yet. But I'm finna drop in like a month or so. But I've been trying to stay away from it. But if 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 you like that, bro, I gotta shoot it because <laughs> you, if right. it's too many people yeah. telling me to shoot that yeah. now, so I gotta shoot that shit. Well, it's got some content to it. Like it, it tells a story, like I said, and mm -hmm. um. You know, I like your style too, man, because you always kind of, uh, you come a little different at each song, each, uh, your beat selection is nice because each one of your beats, you got some feelingful shit, you mm -hmm. got some straight up like almost trap shit, right. you got a little bit of the Detroit shit in there, which mm -hmm. I don't think you need to do because right. there's enough people doing that exactly. and you can get in your own lane, so I, I feel you where you're coming from for mm -hmm. that, but um, just to get this started though, man, for people who don't know, we're talking about some shit like people know. Um, just tell me how you got started, man. Like how, you know, what got you into music and what made you do it? You know, I was about, uh, as, I, as, as long as I can remember, my uncle was doing music. He was like a music, music guy around here, an artist and shit. And I was about six or seven, so, somewhere around there. And him and his kids decided to start their little group or whatever. And they put me in it. So we had a little group called ICY which stood for inner city youth. You know what I'm saying? So it was called Icy. So I went to Limburg and shit. We was, we was like shorty, shorties, dog. We, we came to school with our little CD, pass it out to the whole class. Then they loved that shit. And then like a couple years later, they, they didn't want to do it no more. He, he was writing that shit. I had started writing my own. And you can tell that they weren't as interested as I was. So I'm the only one that kept going with it. So you know what I'm saying? I started a long time ago, bro, about six. And when I say six, I could pull up a video when I was about a 10 on YouTube. That was my first music Man, video. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's dope, though. So it's been in you. It's, it's been, been there. You. Yeah. So where do you think you get your work ethic from, man? Because that's one thing I hold. I hold. I see a lot of motherfuckers dropping, and mm -hmm. I always say one thing with the music shit is like being consistent, and that's one right. thing Capo and I try to do because mm -hmm. we we basically drop almost everything together, right. and that's one thing like you inspire me uh, in that way. But like motherfuckers drop shit around here, but you might not hear from them for four months, right? Six months. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might drop blah 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 and they just don't keep no momentum going so right where, where do you where's that come from man just where's the that hunger struggle come from? bro the fucking struggle and it's like i don't pay no attention to these lists but i pay attention you know what i'm <laughs> we'll saying we'll talk like, about that we'll talk about that and bro, it's like worry. when they be like i don't care where y'all put me out on there because i know the music i make ain't for y'all ears you know what i'm saying like like you said everybody making detroit music and i'm trying to get away from that because I had end up tapping into it myself, you know what I'm saying, trying to see where it take me, but I don't I, I don't want I don't wanna be Michigan famous. I wanna mm, be yep. 
global. You know what I'm saying? And that shit, I don't think that shit go get me there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that that list too, cause. Um, this will probably be the last podcast. My homie Deuces was on here and we we're talking about that. We might as well talk about it right now since we're talking about uh you can't make a fucking Muskegon list without Capo on there. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck who it is. You don't know nothing about Muskegon if Capo's not on the list. I don't Definitely. give a fuck if he's forty nine or fifty, but this dude's been doing shit for the longest time. And I'm not just saying that because he's here, because I said the same shit no matter what. I thought it was great you were on the list because I felt like the last time a list came out and people were all you weren't on there. Right. There's other people on there. And listen, people that are on that list, fucking I fuck with a lot of them, like Polo fucking neat you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying a lot of a lot of dudes i fuck with are on that list but you ain't gonna make a list if couple's not on there you i you fucking sleeping and you don't know shit about Mosquito and i music, swear to god bro. i agree with you because i heard of him a long time ago before i even saw his face i heard i knew who he was you know what i'm saying because right. i be around a lot of people you know what i'm saying a lot of different people and i rap so if you've been doing this as long as me you heard his fucking name yeah. you know what i'm yeah. saying so they just throwing in all these new people out there because they fresh and yeah. they fresh on their mind. Like yeah. I was just telling bro and them, like, I think I told Pape and uh, Finn under a status because they said uh, they ain't got Pape and Burr and Finn on that. And I'm like, man, y'all y'all don't even take offense to it. I said, these just the rappers fresh on his mind because y'all ain't dropping. And then Pay said, uh, Pay said, uh, I cannot drop for 10 years and then still not be fucking with me. And I said, <laughs> I said, I agree with you, brother. Yeah, I agree with right. you. But I'm just saying you ain't on their mind right now because they ain't been hearing your name. You ain't well, been dropping no music. This, so. is, this is my take on the whole Muskegon list. This is all I'm going to say about it because at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I appreciate what you guys said uh, yeah. about me not being included, which is fine with me. And at the end, I, I humbly disagree with what you said, Jay. You're my brother, you know what I'm saying? But right. at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got to be on nobody's top 25 yeah. list, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, first off, I know who made the list, you know? And I know the guy that made the list has definitely been in tune to the Muskegon hip-hop scene for years, mm-hmm. just as long as I have. And, you know, I'm not discrediting his opinion mm-hmm. on anything, but at the end of the day, that's that man's opinion. You right, know what I'm yeah. Saying? yeah. Right. That, that's, yep. that's a lot of the artists that maybe he personally has a relationship with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he knows, and and some of those artists could be artists that he's genuinely a fan of and he recognizes as, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. up-and-coming artists. So at the end of the day, top 25 Muskegon list, I'll make a top 25 Muskegon list. And, right, yeah. And uh, right, you guys are probably not even going to hear of half the artists I got on that list, mm-hmm. you yeah. know? But at the end of the day, these are artists that... I recognize locally that are right. doing their thing. I appreciate the music that they that they put out, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm coming from a different generation of music, mm-hmm. you know, and a different approach to it. That's right. what's going on now, and um, the rate that that you guys have to compete with with these with the with the attention span mm-hmm. is different than what we had to compete with. You know right. what I'm saying? Because there wasn't. You know, not everybody could put a video out. Not everybody could do their thing like, mm-hmm. like you guys are doing right now. Right. And I recognize that shit, and I know it takes a lot of work. It's not easy to set up those shoots mm-hmm. and come up with concept. Then you got to fucking buy gear. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know. That shit hey, that's hey, and and at the that end of the day, I want to take up too much time on this, but at the end of the day, that's what I, I respect about your grind, man, is that you definitely... I know that it, what it takes to make mm-hmm. to accomplish what you're doing mm-hmm. and 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 to make it happen, and I respect somebody that's willing to, that believes enough and puts enough time and effort and money to make sure their shit looks on point. I mean, if they're gonna do I it, do it the right that, way, bro. and don't you know what I'm saying come half ass because and that's all I look cool saying, for the bro. homies. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely tell that you're reaching for a different demographic and mm-hmm. a different you know level, and uh, you know what I'm saying keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate like, that, bro. Dope. And that's all I was saying, bro. Like. What would make me go that hard? Like, like I said, I don't pay no attention to it. But you know what I'm saying? I, I saw I saw somebody say, uh, "Who actually dropped consistently?" And I said, "Me." <laughs> like, what the fuck is you yeah. talking about? Me? Like, I said, "See, that's how I could just tell y'all don't listen." I said, "Man, in the last three years, I done dropped about six tapes." Yeah. No cap. Yep. Like. I, I stopped shooting some videos because, like, I t- t- that shit costs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yep. I stopped shooting some videos, but the, the tapes still be coming. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got so much. I could shoot a year worth, worth of tape music videos right now, and it'll be from all old shit that y'all ain't heard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which exactly. you should do at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think people forget, you know what I'm saying, how big the world is and how big your fan base can potentially be. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, because people want to be hot and, 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 and they own city, which is dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. with every, everybody, but there's always going to be somebody who's going to take the next title with 
I'm the dopest. Right. And yeah, I'm the freshest. That's you know, what, that's and that's fine. where I come from when I say I want to step away from the same music that we making because I don't got nothing against it because I play some of the shit and I be nodding my head to the shit because right. it's dope music. Right. But yeah. we only listening to that over here. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I know. That's why I don't get that much recognition around here because the shit I make ain't for the ears around. Yeah. Here. And that's a, a good way to look at it for sure. As a local you know? artist, Zebo, how many times? You know what I'm saying, and I'm, I'm sure you probably haven't put it out there before. But how many times have you got a DM from somebody that's not from around here, from a, from a different state, maybe a different country, and they're like, "Hey, yo, I came across your music, and yo, that shit spoke to me, or that shit fucked me." You know what I'm saying? Like, you Man, know, you know, you got. I can tell by your smile and shit. It's way more than I get around here. Like, right, I can go yeah, to my yeah. message requests. I yeah. got like a hundred message requests, and I don't reply to all of them. You know what I'm saying? But I try to reply to a lot of them. They be like, "Oh yeah, I saw your music video. I saw your music video," cause. I, when you hashtag shit, that's what a lot of people don't know. You hashtag shit on Instagram. When somebody search that shit up, yo shit gonna pop up. So mm -hmm. a lot of people yep. be hitting me up like, yeah, I, I like that music video. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. And Femi, Fenton gave me hip to a lot of promotion where I, I thought a lot of promotion was fake and people was like trying to scam oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But it's a lot of promotion that people really offering you just for free. Like, I DM somebody back, and they posted my shit up on their page. They got, like, 140,000 followers for free just because they liked it that much. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, good yep. looking out. I appreciate that. I thought you was going to stay, like, $500, right, like the yeah. last goofy-ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you definitely got to be careful. But uh, I'll just say my final piece on that list, yeah, definitely an opinion because I can make a list. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'd probably be top 25, and then I'd put the other right, I'm just right. <laughs> <laughs> no, For real, though. That's like, if you don't feel like that. That'd be my list. Top 25 rappers. I don't even fucking rap, but I'm top 25. Then everybody yeah, else yeah. after me. No, I'm just playing. But uh, uh, like you said, in its opinion, but the only reason why I say with, with Capo is just because we've been dropping consistently. Right. Fucking like every week a song, fucking every month a fucking video. Yeah. Plus he, like before Corona, he was playing every major city, LA, New York, fucking yeah. California. So like, that's the type he, of shit I'm talking about. He don't need that. Yeah, he don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, don't need, need that. Hey. I'm just saying if you're going by accolades i don't know what because you definitely ain't going by bars yeah but if you ain't going if you you know what i mean if you're going by accolades then you need to fucking wise up you know what i'm saying but yeah. at the end of the day like worldwide mentality i had e will on here on the on the last we'll just call it season one before corona mm -hmm. <laughs> but i don't know if you got i know you're familiar with e will but yeah, i don't he know just, from grand rapids yeah he just yeah. followed me on instagram yeah. like five days ago i was like Whoa. yeah he's dope but he said the same shit because he's from nice. GR, right? And he was saying the same thing. He's like, you know, all these dudes are talking about like Grand Rapids and Grand Rapids clout and this and that. He's like, I don't give a fuck about that. He's like, I go do my thing other places. I get love in Germany. I get love in fucking, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. all over the globe. So any of them list and any of that shit is whatever. But no d disrespect to the, you know, uh, who made the list or whatever. Yeah, I think have it was. your favorite. Yeah. I got my favorite. Yeah. I just think it's funny when people get uh, all like, heard about it yeah. like man that's their opinion why, yeah. why does that matter like at the end of the day if they ain't bumping your it, shit anyway why does that matter it's intended to get that reaction yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah. when I mean make, we're talking about it right now anytime you make a list mm -hmm. you know. and you're not included in it and you feel that you're at a certain level or you deserve a certain type of recognition and they don't include you you're gonna feel some type of way right. yeah. but at the end of the day it's, it's people that really understand, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, that un, that no man, you know what, that. Yeah. And you know what's so funny about it. Shout out to it. everybody that made the list, though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I got a like, favorite. Yeah. But you know a funny, this is a funny quick story. This how funny Muskegon is, y'all. Somebody made a, uh, a, they ain't make no list, they made a status, right, a Facebook status, and they said, so-and-so uh, is my, is the best rapper in Muskegon. And like I said, that's fine. But you know what I'm saying? If that's how you feel, you can you can feel that way. So, but this person was a basketball player, right? So I go write a status about basketball, and I say <laughs> this person was the best basketball <laughs> player. Come on, Muskegon. They went nuts. They went Muskegon went nuts. They like, oh, that's how you feel, da 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 da. And I'm like, dang, I just said the same thing he said. You right. know what I'm saying? But. I, I was like, but y'all see how y'all take a fist to that because it's something that y'all love. Y'all play basketball mm. and y'all don't think he better than y'all. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, but I can't feel away. Yeah. I didn't even comment on the way I felt. I just went and wrote the same status he, he right. did and replaced it with basketball <laughs> play. But I was like, right. this just shows how Muskegon work, man. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, And then I, I also think it's funny the dudes that get all hurt about the list and it's like, 
you don't deserve to be on that list any motherfucking way because you ain't doing again. shit, though. No. Yeah, yeah, I ain't seen no shit from you. You put out one song every five months, maybe, yeah. with no promotion. And then once it's out, you don't say nothing about it. You ain't shoot a video. So that's just kind of where yeah. it, it is, the, the back and forth. But we're going to get off the list shit, you know. Like yeah. I said, shout out to everybody you made the list. I got some, you know, polos on that list. Yeah. You're on that list. Two, Fucking, three, one. You know? Yeah, so. We all together. It, yeah, that's what we got to be thinking of, you know. Um. So some recent moves I want to kind of talk about. Uh, recently, you said uh, you're going to leave the Detroit rap in 2020, which I felt like not all your stuff's Detroit rap, though, either, man. I know you have, uh, you know, some of your beats uh, allude to that, but I don't feel you fit into that category to me. I mean, because I don't know, a lot of the Detroit, I don't want to say a lot because I guess that would be biased, but some of the Detroit shit I heard, like, I mean, you rap on beat, bro. So I mean, mm -hmm. fuck, you know, right, <laughs> like, right. That, yeah. That's some thing where you got to like rap off beat or something, I think, to be a part of that. But it's uh, finesse out the gangway, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. The Joker. Right. That that's what what you just dropped, right? Yeah, that was a cover so, to uh, Lil Durk and Lil Baby finesse out the gangway. Okay. I just did my own little cover, and like yeah. I said, I ain't want to do no regular video. So. Yeah, I like that. So well, don't visual with the Joker though. Yeah, yeah, I definitely sure liked it when now. you said it was different, and yeah. then I seen that, and I was like, that's dope shit. That's thinking outside the box. You know what yeah. I mean? That's the good. That's the type of shit people will uh, draw into you too, you know, mm -hmm. because it is different because it ain't the same thing that everybody else is doing. So, right. But with that being said, uh, you want to kind of talk about um, what what's going on right now with you, you know, what... Um, as far as right now, like I said, uh, <clears throat> it's been real, <clears throat> real personal to me to stay away from the Detroit style music. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to stand out, like I said, and that's what everybody doing, no offense. Mm -hmm. No offense. And like I said, I want to stand out. So I've been more trying to get in the industry bag. I got some cold ass shit coming out with Finn. Got some cold ass shit coming out with Raven. I don't know if y'all heard of Raven. Oh, yeah. Raven Fairfield. Yeah, she can sing, man. Dope. But I got some cold ass shit. Like, I think that's that's going to be the one for the summer. I'm going to wait till the summertime to shoot that. But I just been trying to, trying to get up on that industry level because... Like I said, I ain't competing with nobody around here. Shit, I'm competing with Lil Baby. Them, that's the top nigga in the industry. Yeah. He dropped all last year, just like I dropped all last year. I'm trying to get the recognition he getting because I'm putting in the work he putting in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's about that marketing, man. That's one thing that him and I like focus on because we can make you, you same thing with you. And I, I'd mm -hmm. actually want to touch on uh, the way you make your songs too, but just. Uh, we can make fucking songs all day, bro. We mm -hmm. can make bangers. We can make good songs all day. We're all to that point, or a lot of us are to that point where the music comes easy. Right. But it's how the fuck you get the fans, how you get the people paying attention, and not not the dudes that are worried about Muskegon list, like the fans that are going to be like, oh, Zebo, I fuck with your shit. You know right. what I mean? That's that's the skill to focus on, and that's what him and I are doing, because he's obviously got a different demographic, right, than you got. You right. Know? So knowing your, your um, ideal customer or ideal you know, fan, that's very important, you know, right. who fucks with the type of music that would like your shit, you know, so mm -hmm. that's always, that's always kind of a challenge, but whatever comes your way, man, you deserve all of it, you know, just say that. I'm grateful. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, the way you make music, because you record all your own shit, right, man? Mm -hmm. yes, so sir. tell me about that process a little bit and what that looks like, how you learn how to do that and, um, you know. Like I said, uh, my uncle used to record me when I was little, and then I turned about 12, I was in about middle school, and, uh, he got tired of recording me because it used to be Lil Zebo, oh, can you record my song? But then when, <laughs> when he sees Zebo trying to fucking record every fucking day, yeah, he yeah. like, I'm finna teach you how to do this yeah, shit. Yeah, that shit's annoying. Yeah, so <laughs> he taught me how to do it or whatever. And uh, every program from then was different. So, like, Dantel Jones, that's who started off recording me uh, for my new tape that I had just dropped the third. And He's so cold with the mixing, but I be paying attention to what he been doing. So everything that's coming out now, I down there mix myself, and it sound real better than what it used to. And it, it still used to sound good, you know what I'm saying? But right now it's sounding real great, like I said, industry. Yeah, and that's one thing I noticed about that tape and then compared to some of your other stuff, it's like the quality is there, man. Yeah, you know, like I appreciate it. It sounds good, you know? Like when I was listening to it, I am like, uh, I was like listening to it while I was working out, and... um I mean, it just sounded just as good as... Because sometimes you hear some shit and just don't even sound all that great. You know what yeah. I mean? From, from, you know... But, yeah, I like the sound of it. So you use Pro Tools? Is yep. that what you use? Mm -hmm. And that 
that's a bitch to learn compared to a lot of programs. That's man. what took Especially me so be crashing and I shit, quit that but. shit. I was like, fuck <laughs> that. Uh-uh. I had to learn it though, because yeah. once I recorded on it, I didn't want to record yeah. on nothing else. Yeah. People are funny too, because they're like, you got Pro Tools? You know, I don't I don't really record the public much anymore. I only got a couple of people I fuck with. But me too. Like I don't I don't really like do that because that shit's a headache. But uh, a lot of people be like, "Oh, you don't got Pro Tools?" It's like, man, you can do just as good a job on fucking an FL Studio or yeah. fucking Studio One or whatever. You know, well, nowadays you everything's plugins. fucking yeah, everything's. You know, I, even I, a lot of stock plugins. I fuck with the Fruity Loops hard, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's my <laughs> shit. Yeah. See, and that's hard for yeah. me to learn. And I'm but, like, man, hey, I can make a little beat on it there. It took me like three months to finally get it because it's just so different. But then once you get it, it's like, okay, I got this. You See how Pro Tools is to me. Yeah. It's how uh, Fruity Loops is. You know what I'm saying? That's like, yeah. that shit just, too hard for me. You probably can record on everything because uh, you make yeah, the beats. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of do both, but I just stick to Pro Tools because once I learned it or whatever, like yeah. I, I'm pretty quick with it with Me all the too. short keys and shit. But uh, Pro Tools is just a bitch. Like, I don't know why everybody says it's so great because I even hear, like, in big studios and shit, it just mm. be crashing on people and stuff because it's just so fucking weird, you know? And There's some too of, many plugins. Yeah, just. It's, so it's, it's kind of weird, but kind kind of taking this into like a, like a different direction. As far as um Muskegon hip hop, you know, like who who's who's your who's some of your biggest influences? Like 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 who do you who do you recall? You know, what I'm saying being first aware of that's like a local artist that you're like, oh shit, people from around here are doing it. I could do it too. Um, I'm gonna just say first off, my uncle. I gotta say my motherfucking mm, uncle because yeah. who's your uncle? Name. His name is Calico the MD. He got old ass videos on YouTube and shit. Okay. But um, besides him, it was this dude named Rich Clips. He used to rap back in the day. He a little older than me, but this dude can rap. I'm talking about my uncle had a little TV show up in his uh, basement called Basement Funk or whatever, and he used to have all the Ski Town artists come down. So there he was freestyle. doing those interviews on. The, okay, I yeah. remember. I seen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cal- okay. Calico. Calico. Okay. Yeah. I know who. I know who your uncle yeah, is. My uncle. I know who your uncle is, man. Like personally, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah see? Sick. Yeah, yep, he uh, yep. he was doing I, I remember TV the video. Show. He was one of the first dudes out here that like nope. shot a video, yeah. and we was like, "Oh shit, this motherfucker shooting a real video." He was going around town like, "Hey, yo, I'm shooting my video. Yeah. What's shooting a real video?" Big ass like camcorder hey. things like no, that. No, no, shit. Yeah, no, it's all starting to come back to me now. Like uh, I, I remember, and yeah. then he did this. This the, I remember him doing the interview. He and doing he premiered shows. It. He did yeah. interviews, all that shit. Okay, so, yeah, I, know, I know who Calico is, man. Yeah, <laughs> we we we, we like crossed that. If you rap from back then, who the fuck he is? I remember him. What was the name of that joint that he had the video? For uh, the realest shit I ever wrote, man. I, yeah, that's I, my favorite song. In the I world. remember that shit, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rich Clips came down there and he he was like 14 and I was about 10. And he freestyled for about 10 minutes. My uncle had him on the show, he put his motherfucking hoodie on and he was just going. And I'm like, and it's up on my uncle, uh, YouTube channel, man. Uh, and he was going for like 10 minutes. I'm like, man, who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> and he was only a little bit older than me. I ain't know no grown dudes mm-hmm. fucking with him. And I was like, man, he about to make me turn up. Like, I I, I really want to do this shit now. That's you know what up. I'm saying? I, I ain't know nobody that can do nothing. Like, only person I knew that could do that shit back then was Lil Wayne. Yeah, just go at it. No flaws. 10 minutes at a time or... I was like, it. man. All I still, bars. to this day, I could freestyle a little bit for about... I can give you probably about the 12 or 16, but this nigga <laughs> yeah. went for that shit. 10 minutes. Man, I was like, oh my God, gave me the chills. I still go watch that shit to this day sometimes. That's and it's crazy how too. back then, like, motherfuckers just had shit like that in their bag like that, just yeah. ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, off the head and, I like, was like yeah, that, that definitely takes some skill. But, yeah, Rich Clips, Um, who else back then? Cash Kid. I don't know if you know Cash Kid. His name Cashmere Kelly now. But he was real cold. He used to freestyle and shit. Um, I think that's about it. Cause that was about only the only people I knew that came around us that was doing music. Only people I knew from doing music when I was real little was the people my uncle brought around. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't remember yeah. North Star? Do do some research on some on some Muskegon hip hop and, okay. and get on there and look up North Star. And to me, them was that them were the first guys. I mean, nah, you know what I'm saying? I can't say the first guys because you know I had, had my man Chilla and them. Yeah. They was doing their shit on another hey, level. He right with Chilla. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. when Chilla came out, Chilla dropped um the big thing that that you know, Chilla was dope because he was putting out shit on his own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing shit on his own before Radio everybody. You know what I'm saying? That. Like he was definitely like probably the first independent pioneer yeah. I, as far as I can give recognition to in Muskegon is Chilla Patilla. Agreed. Like can't nobody take that from him. 
And then that motherfucker just went into different shit and made a lot of shit possible. A lot of shit possible for artists in Muskegon. You know what I'm saying? Like he created, you know what I'm saying? Like resources and avenues for them from fucking mixtape designs to fucking videos yes, to sir. pictures and to just being that example on how you can do your shit yourself. Yeah. But the thing about Chilla was he put out a song on an E-40 compilation mm -hmm. in the 90s. That's his a, cousin or something, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, that yeah. was like, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that he was on this CD that was E-40 compilation, and he mentioned Muskegon in it, yeah. we were all like, man, this is the fucking... We're fucking famous, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ski Town's known worldwide, you know what I'm saying? Low, unlow. I know that about that. Yeah, yeah. low, unlow. So, like, there's a lot of stuff that's prior, you know, pre... You know what I'm saying? The era that you know that I definitely, as an artist, you should definitely tune into and check out and be like, oh, okay, these are the motherfuckers that... And, and North Star is one of them, man, mm -hmm. where they was a group that was just like... I'm talking about really East Coast, Nas, AZ influence mm -hmm. type shit, bro. Like, if just you heard... bars and shit, dog, pretty much. Yeah. Ridiculous. And those were like the guys that... When when they came out, I was like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. man, motherfucker, like we're on the next level. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like... With the shit you guys are doing, it kind of makes me feel that way. You right. know what I'm saying? At that at that time, where we didn't have the internet, mm. we didn't have YouTube, we didn't have you know what I'm saying like right. the means to get our videos out there unless we had an outlet like your uncle's doing mm -hmm. and shit like that. What yeah, a, that's that's dope. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Uh, uh, what about right now though? He said some stuff going like who who's uh, uh I mean because we all got influences, right? Like people that are popping in the game and shit, whatever. Obviously, the big guys are gonna be, but who are some artists around here? Um, you know, or, or some people even that kind of inspire you around here then too, just to kind of bring it more current. Um, I know too you're gonna say already. Yeah, got to. <laughs> Finn. Yep. Prezi. Yep. I mean, you my got old to, boy man. Burr. Okay. Yep. Uh, he's dope too. Yeah, man. Burr just got a uh, record deal last year. I know he deserves it. We, we used to we used to have uh, time, we used too, to have man. Prezi in the club when he was like 14, like, yeah, 15 years God. old. <laughs> I remember I'm rapping on stage and shit, snatching them up, man. Little uh, young, little who else? little ass he's kid. He's dope back with then. it though, man. Uh, Five Q Drew. I don't know if y'all know Drew. Drew cold it, motherfucker. No, he, he been no. industry level. He cold. Yeah. I am not familiar with him. Yeah, he cold. He nice. He ain't dropped in about a year, but when he was dropping, he dropped for like two years straight. Um, who else? Real nice around here. Shit, uh, Capo. I just had got hip to Capo. I knew who he was, but I just started like clicking on his videos and shit about a couple months ago when I saw y'all was working together. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, he working. Yep. Um, who else cold man? That's been working that I've been paying attention to. Shit, that's it for real. Yeah. Like I said, I I've been PayPal been in the dark, but I I got his ass back in the light. I'm mm. like, bro, I got a studio, so I don't want to hear none of them excuses you talking so, about, right. bro. So we gonna hear a new HD album, a, a new Prezi album. HD, you know, yeah. and, uh, they, got, they got man, I gotta bring him yeah, out of retirement. Joe, he, been, he, been, he got Joe, a couple Joe, bars left in Joe, him. Joe, him. Joe's retired. We him and I talked about that when he was on the podcast. He's like, I ain't fucking fucking with that. Yeah, <laughs> just like, like I, I'll do the DJ shit, but uh, I'm good on that. I'll DJ for them guys, but I ain't, I ain't rapping no more. So we talked about that when he was on the podcast before. So, but yeah, shit, that's about it. Uh, I had to make Prezi work, but he's too dope not to, bro. He's yeah, too I, dope I'm like, bro, I know you got yeah. kids and responsibilities and shit, bro, but that just means work harder, bro. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because I know you don't want to stop doing this shit, just like I don't want to stop yeah. doing this shit. You don't want to be that nigga that said. I could have did this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yep. saying? So those guys working. And Finn ain't dropping right now, so that's probably why he ain't on this list. But I swear to God, when he start dropping, this nigga might be number one. Yeah, he's uh, he's on a different level. What are some standout things, like projects that kind of stand out to you? And then what is the one thing if I was like, hey, man, uh, you got to go check out my boy Zebo? Wh what would you point them to? So it's kind of a twofold question, you know. What are some things that really stand out to you? I imagine probably one of them would be the the movie basically that you and Fenton. Yeah, and, uh, it would definitely be. Uh, that was that was a really dope project. What would you do and uh, bounce back? I would point y'all to those two. Okay. That's just like the two movies that I got out right now. That's like the best quality videos I got. Yeah. Would that be like, oh yeah, there's some content right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Using I the gas station and shit. Yeah, yeah. but if, it depends on the crowd. If it was some, you know what I'm saying, like a. BT crowd, they can accept some hood shit. I sent the ass to Trap House that I just dropped like two months ago. I love Trap House. I can't wait to perform. And that, that shit. that's on three, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it just depends on the crowd. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's you know that's obviously. That's why I make music for both. Right. Yeah, that shows your versatility though too. And I, I know it's always hard to ask an artist like because you'd be like, nah, check out all my shit. All my shit's dope. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. I know he was Anything. saying that. I know that's what Deuces said when he was. <laughs> Anything. Yeah, me, it just depends on the crowd. Right. Yeah. yeah. I got some shit I play for a certain crowd like. You got some shit. I got some shit I could do downtown Muskegon. Then I got some shit I could do in the middle of the hood. Right. Yeah. That's you know, Capo and I have been dropping a bunch of tracks, and there's there's like them ones though that kind of stick out that are just like, all right, that that's the track. But the funny thing about music is going back to the opinions thing. Mm -hmm. That might not always be just because we thought it was dope right, or the way yeah. it came together. Or how were no, you feeling? It's just kind of you know? surprising. Like some of the ones that we thought were gonna be like, yo, this one, everybody gonna love this yeah. one, mm -hmm. and then it'd be like totally a, a one that we didn't God. even have in mind. <laughs> yeah, that's I like, oh like, shit, God. bro, we got like yeah. almost a thousand views on that one right off right off rip when we dropped it. And it's like, damn, bro, like why, why that one? And shit. Yeah. You know, I felt like that about uh. Up a dub, bro. I did not want to shoot up a dub. I did not want. I didn't even really like the song, but everybody was like, bro, you gotta shoot up a dub. I dropped that bitch. That bitch did like ten k in a month. I was like, damn, y'all like this song? I was like, all right, if y'all like it, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always the ones that you don't really know, right? Yeah. Like, oh, then it's that... like the ones you whip up in like five minutes, and you really like, all right, just put that shit to the side, and then yeah. you go go on to the next one, and then. You end up dropping it. It's the one people are drawn to, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's dope. I mean, that's that's the thing about creating music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you never know how people feel. You right. Know, how how they're going to feel about it. Yeah. All right, man. So I'm going to ask you... Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions about... Like, say uh, say uh, the younger you was coming up to your uncle. Like, you know what I'm saying? What what would you want your uncle to tell you like about this rapping and uh, learning how to do shit and, you know getting into this music shit like you know what what would you say to like an upcoming aspiring rapper like if they just came to you and was like Zebo man I need to I need some gems man I need some game like can you put me on I mean what what would you, know you say what I would bro? tell him I would tell him I'm not in a position to give no information out because I'm not even in a position I want to be in and I I'm still trying to figure it out so I don't mm. think I can get no information out you could do what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Drop as much as you can. That that's the that's the best information I could give you. That's, Drop as that's, much as that's, you can. That's jewel right there. Yeah, that's I mean, that's, that's a gem right there. Because you know. be, besides dropping as much as you can, I don't know what it is what it take to get there yet. Yeah. Uh, otherwise I'll be there. You know right. what I'm saying? But I mean I just try to stay up in there and stay up on the gas in case somebody pay attention and they can just go be like, damn, he got a whole fucking mm -hmm. catalog. Yeah, that's you know super what I'm saying? Important. Yeah. But besides that, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like if the world would be open, I probably know a little more because I'm trying to get. If I can get a show in fucking Miami for a night, I fly to Miami. I'm trying to get shows everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Get shows. I don't know how to get shows, but I'm trying to get the, shows. This guy right here, like, uh, he he'll be the one to to keep you uh, keep you in the loop because when he was doing all the shows, he he brought out uh you brought out Neek to Detroit. He brought out uh Latin J to uh, New York and shit. Okay, so, like, yeah. I mean, keep tapped in with us, bro. What, what, uh, what I always try to get do, you on some shit. What yeah. I always just try to do is like if I and I've always done this shit from the beginning, man. Like from day one, before you know what I'm saying. Like my biggest dream as an upcoming artist was to get shows. Mm. Like damn, man, how you get a show? Me you too. know what I'm saying? Mm. And then finally, my uh, the, the this lady named Sherry was the first lady to give me an opportunity to come perform, and it went everything went like a dream. Like every like all my friends showed up, yeah. gave it up. I fucking felt like I was a fucking superstar. Dope. So. Ever since that, you know what I'm saying, I would, anytime I had an opportunity, I would go find another homie of mine that was trying to rap or come yeah. up, and I'd bring him with me. Be like, hey, yo, you come up, and I'm going to let you do a little song or mm -hmm. a part of a song and shit right. like that from day fucking one. I swear to God, I was the same way, bro. Yeah. It's this dude named DJ Pro Like I said, I, I ain't did a lot of shows, but I only did about maybe 15 shows somewhere up in there. And um, DJ Prodigy out of Grand Rabbits, he contacted me somehow. I don't know how he found one of my videos. And he like, man, you want to uh, come performing in a sh show in Grand Rapids? I'm like, yeah, I'll be out there. So I told all my people about the show. And like you said, everybody came to the show and shit. And I rocked that bitch out. Everybody was saying my words. I'm up there getting down. And after that, shit, that show, he called me too. I brought somebody. The next one I brought Fitting. That bitch was way in Bay City. Uh... It was, like I said, I just brought somebody to air one, brought Debo to the next one, and it's like, you just got to try to get people in the loop. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad y'all said something because I've been looking for shows for so hey, long, bro. And I think the, the mentality that you got that you're willing to travel, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, sometimes it's going to cost you your own buck, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And and if you're willing to do that and invest it, the reward is, you know what I'm saying, tenfold because 
it ain't about the money you spend to go do it. It's mm. about the fucking relationship you build once right. you get out there and then the network you bring back with yeah, you. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Cause... That's always going to come back. I mean, Jay can ask you fucking tell you firsthand how many times we've done that shit or I've done that and I came back and be like, hey, yo, mm. this going to help us. You right. know what I'm saying? Or, or, hey, I went here and now we got a show over here. Right. You know I'm so There's one thing I know, bro. Every time I get off stage, bro, I got, I got stage presence, bro. Anytime I get on that stage, you go... Remember when when I leave that bitch? I promise you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a good way to look at it, bro. A lot of people don't think to they like they 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 be like I'm gonna make this music because I like this music. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't be like I gotta make a song for when I get on the stage. That's all I think about. Yeah. That's all I think about. Like this bitch finna crack when I get on the stage. This bitch finna crack. I do make songs that you know what I'm saying that get you in your feelings and yeah. shit like that. But those. But you are just know you ain't gonna do that for the stage. Exactly. Type shit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then like going back to I like what you said about the catalog though, man. Mm-hmm. Like I know you said like hey I ain't in the position. But one thing I always forget too is like man I feel like I hustle pretty hard right. But and but I'm always looking ahead like this next guy ahead of me, right? Like, oh, I'm trying to catch this guy or whatever. We get in that comparison shit. Right. But you always got to remember there's a lot of dudes behind you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I always forget that myself. Like, there's a lot of dudes behind you that just kind of want to get to where you're at, you know? Mm-hmm. But what you said about the catalog, I think, is really important because you don't know who's going to fucking discover you. Mm-hmm. And if you only got one song out or you ain't dropping shit consistently, mm-hmm. they're not going to want to... You have no stickability with, like, people that actually want to be your fans. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, but if they're like, oh, I fuck with Zebo, this song's dope. I, se- I seen fucking finesse out the gangway, the cover shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? This is interesting. And then they look you up, and then you got all this other shit that like, oh man, I'm on the fucking Zebo kick, man. Bingo. And then they're gonna fucking tell their friends and shit, you know. Bingo. So that's what's so important about hey, having that. Catalog, I've done that bro. personally, where when I first started going through his videos, I okay, I see that one, and then boom, the next one will pop. All right, let me check this one out. Yeah, yeah. the next one will pop out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, well, and a lot of hell yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, exactly. got a video for every song. Like, and then if you are like in our position, it's always weird, right? Because when you rap and then other people check out your shit, because you don't rap for rappers, right? Mm-hmm. But people get stuck in that mode, like, right. oh, I'm so good a rapper, or I'm so great at this. But it's like, man, you're rapping for the fans, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You want those fans to do that, right? But like, Capo checking your shit out and then going to the next one, the next one. That means he's like showing the love and respect. Like, mm-hmm. hey, man, this motherfucker's grinding and he's got shit out. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like can I said, see that's that what work. made me notice his yeah, grind. Like, right. but when I, I think though, when I'm like, damn, he got. He when got I get pulled into that with an artist though, and then they drop something new, mm-hmm. I'm nine times out of ten I go check out their new shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too. It's like, oh, okay, dope. This dude nice. got another thing dropped. All right, cool. Let me see what this one. Yeah, is, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, having that catalog is really important, man. Yeah, that's all. I, that's the only thing I. Can say I I know about the game is I got a catalog in case somebody do come get me you know you got a good catalog too man like I said man I, I you know I don't I don't try to blow too much smoke but I only have people on here that I not only just respect and am inspired by but like people that are really doing shit man because you know people hit me up oh man can I be on a podcast you know right. especially when I was doing it more before but I'm kicking it back up or whatever we we got a lot of shit in the works because he's gonna be on here more. Uh, we're going to do some shit with Zoom and stuff because he's got a huge network too. So we're going to be talking to a lot of different people and okay. videographers. And not, you know, the show ain't just about rappers. I've been wanting to get you on though, like before, but then yeah. all Corona happened and all that shit. Like, like you I know, said, I'm so. grateful, bro. I'm yeah, grateful. No, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, yeah. we hit it off good when you came and shot that video here. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, I felt for, from day one, it was all love. You know what I mean? That so. way, bro. And, uh, I meant to tell you, I was listening to Polo shit. That beat you made on his shit was so nasty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. That shit yeah. was hard. I said, ooh, ooh, he going to make me do a Detroit beat. <laughs> <laughs> See, and, that, and, that's, and that's what's crazy is, like, I make so many different kind of beats. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, most of the shit I make is, like, trap. I don't really make a lot of Detroit beats. But I was like, man, I'm trying to do a song with Polo, so yeah. I'm just going to make... Actually, Gotti Guns was like, hey, you do drill beats? I'm like, i never done one. So I was like... Figured out how to do one. I sent him one. He's like, damn, that's just cold. He's like, you do Detroit beats? I was like, I've never done one. Because I just, I make like just hard trap, almost like mm-hmm. like uh, Lil Baby the Baby type right. shit. Just them hard 808s and shit, like the yeah. more short. That's kind of what I've been doing because I've been dropping like a beat every day and that's kind of more of the shit that I do. See? But, yeah, um, that's work right there. But, uh, when I was like, man, I've been trying to do a song with Polo. And back in the day when I wasn't that great at beats, you know, because I mm. progress all the time too, right? And I'm trying to make this podcast about me. But anyway, um, I sent him a beat and he just wasn't feeling it. So that make encouraged me. This was like when I first was like mm. introduced to Polo because that's always going to be my dude, man. Right. But because um, he used to come and record here. Mm-hmm. Dolo. 
Dolo came and record here. Zach Kennedy, mm. you know, they all would come here and record and shit. So I fuck with all those guys in a long way too. But I remember that, and I was like, man, man, I just need to get better and better. Mm -hmm. But then I made like a pack of Detroit beats. Mm. And I sent him like five, and he was like, "Man, I fuck with a lot of those." But yeah. then he was like, "Man, I'm gonna use this one." I'm like, "Bet that's yeah. that's dope." And that that what he put over it, man. I, I mean, I like the other joints. I want to get uh, uh, Devin on here too. Okay. You know, cause that's he produced some tracks for you, right? Debo. Oh, Debo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's like what he goes by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name Dalvin. Yeah, Dalvin. But yeah, yeah Debo. Yeah. He his motherfucking ass got nice fast, and it was like, like I told him. He be sending me beats now too, and like I told him, this ain't no bad beat, bro. Send this bitch to Polo or somebody. But I told him I'm trying to get away from the Detroit mm -hmm. style beats, so yeah. I'm like, you work on some industry style beats, and I'm a, you know what I'm saying, happily go on one of your beats. But I want to send some shit to you too. I've been wanting to get on a couple of tracks with you. you know, do that because I know you like uh, some of the pianos and some of some of the more melodic type shit too. So, mm -hmm. but some of the stuff I've been making right now, I think would fit your style and kind of what you're doing. So, let's link up on that for sure. But um, with that being said, man, let's. Uh, what's next for you, bro? Like I know you said you got a couple projects coming out, but t tell me what your plan is. You know, tell me what you're kind of looking at. I know it's hard to speak things into existence, but sometimes it's good too. Nah, you know? man, like, that's definitely what I'm on. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Yeah. So I'm finna do shows all this summer. Try to get my name up, you know what I'm saying? Get my name a little everywhere. Like I said, anywhere I could find a show, I told Burr, Burr stay way in Virginia. I said, bro, if you get a fucking open bar mic night, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'll come to that bitch. I'm trying to get my fucking name it's everywhere, bro. So I'm trying to tap in there where get my name out there, you know what I'm saying? By the end of the year, hopefully somebody be hitting me the fuck up for a deal. And that's, that's, that's what's next. Motherfucking deal. All right. I don't need mine. If I start getting a lot of money off shows, I'll take that. I just want to get paid off rap. Yeah. That's making it to me. A lot of people want a, a billion dollar deal or some shit like that. Like, I don't even got to have a million dollars. You ain't got to give me no million dollar cash. If I can get 20K a show or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? That's enough for me to take care of my family. Right. I'm good. Definitely. Just be happy. That's <laughs> yeah. what him and I talk about, man. Just building the fan base up so we can make enough both that we don't have to do some regular ass shit or do some shit we don't want to do you know yeah. we want to just be able to do the music shit and because that's what we love to do but if Bingo. we can feed your family off it you know if you can do that you crazy. made it yeah you know it could be like what we make at our fucking regular ass jobs now mm -hmm. and we can make it mm -hmm. you know then i feel like i've been successful so um you got anything else capo any questions uh, no nah, that, that's man? it for me man it's like i said it's nice to meet you bro you oh, know yeah, what i'm saying sure. uh, um, like i said we're definitely we definitely rooting for you man and you got our support and uh Vice looking versa. forward to all the new shit coming out man you know what i'm saying and uh you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day keep grinding bro set yourself apart from the rest of them and do your thing man yeah oh, yeah. yeah you too my yeah. Yep. definitely Both appreciate you, you. what's uh, uh I, I got a roll out all right nice meeting you nice meeting you Nice meeting you, too, bro. Yeah, you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll work someday or something, man. Yeah. I'll get you on the podcast or something. <laughs> 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 I'll let you. Be right. safe, bro. Easy Thought Productions, bro. Hey, am I behind this car? What? Am I behind? Oh, yeah. It's all right. We're going we gonna to wrap up in one second. Oh, yeah, say less. Hey, man, just uh, tell, them, tell them where we can find you or whatever, man, and then you can we'll wrap it up. You can find me everywhere you can find some fucking music. Zebo, Z-B-O. Look mm -hmm. it up, man. Amazon, that's what I that's what I listen to you on. So yeah, yeah. uh what's your handle on Instagram? My Instagram is the real Zebo. Okay. Go check me out, follow me. I drop a lot of previews of the the shit I'm finna drop up on my Instagram if y'all wanna see it. Dope, dope, dope. All right, man. So you guys heard it. Thanks a lot for coming through, man. Yeah, I really appreciate our me. conversation and uh thanks for your time once again. And uh, with that being said, everyone, uh, stay tuned. You can check this out on all major platforms as far as listening to the audio. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or you can see it on YouTube, uh, much love to you guys. Man.